giving up smoking is the easiest thing in the world. I know it because I've done it thousands of times. No, just kidding. This video, I'm going to tell you how I stopped smoking after 10 years. I started smoking when I was 15. I started going out. I started drinking. I started going to these clubs. With my friends, we would have to group up to buy a pack of cigarettes because it was fucking expensive for a 14, 15 years old. $5 for 20 cigarettes and we split it. Everyone gets five to use it during the night. But that quickly escalated to 10 cigarettes during one night to a pack to use during the night because if you smoke, you know that alcohol pushes it a lot. But that phase was only during going out but after one year or so i start smoking during the day as well after meals with coffee and that escalated to first thing in the morning last thing before i go to bed and when i joined the military was even worse because everyone would smoke there every single break like you have classes for 50 minutes and then you have a break everyone grabs a coffee smokes a cigarette you have that chill pause that moment to relax and talk a little bit outside that routine fucked me over because i was smoking more than 20 cigarettes per day and that's the reason why you can't stop smoking because you attach smoking with these moments of pleasure after a meal with coffee after sex for example you only smoke for two reasons to boost these moments for example after a meal you smoke a cigarette to make like the meal even better to like have the chill time to relax, drink a coffee. So basically in these situations, you are boosting the activity itself or you smoke because you are stressed, you want a moment of relief. And of course you don't want to lose that. I remember saying to myself, bro, I'm not ever gonna stop smoking because I fucking love it. Makes my life better, makes everything better. Like I'm not gonna be like those cringe guys that ah, I'm trying to stop smoking. No, bro, I will smoke forever because I love it. I don't care if I die sooner. Bro, this was my mental talk. And that's why it was really hard to quit because I associate everything good in my life with smoking. It was only when I started improving myself, going to the gym, that I thought, man, why are you smoking like before a gym workout and after a gym workout? Literally, I would smoke first thing before I, I eat my workout at the gym in the door smoking a cigarette yeah bro i'm gonna lift weights but first let it, let me have my my cigarette and just the first thing that i will do after the gym so i was doing something positive but still smoking until one day i decided to make a change for the first time in my life i thought to myself hmm maybe i should stop smoking just to see like I heard about this lung cancer, but I didn't care about that because that's like in the future and you don't have the perception now that can't hurt you. That's why it's so difficult to quit because you smoke a cigarette, but you don't feel anything related to lung cancer. Maybe you cough a little bit and that's it. You, have, you don't have this perception of long-term uh, relationship with yourself and your well-being. So basically in 420, April 2021, I choose specific this day to stop smoking. It was the first time that I said to myself, I'm gonna stop smoking, I'm, I'm gonna quit it. And I choose it this day, I went cold turkey, and yeah, of course it went wrong. Like after three days or so, I, I relapsed and started smoking again. But I made the decision, and that's the first step. You need to make the decision of trying to stop smoking. And that day was the day that I said to myself, I'm not going to buy tobacco anymore. So every relapse was because a coffee with a friend and I asked him a cigarette, like at the military, everyone would smoke. So I still have access to tobacco. And that's why it's so difficult to quit because even if you want to try it, stop smoking, it's everywhere. Everywhere you, you, you look, there is people smoking that is stores with tobacco and friends smoking so it's really difficult and you need to eliminate these cues of coffee drinking especially drinking you have these cravings of smoking so hard and yeah you need to avoid this situation if you really want to quit it i started my journey of asking for tobacco to my friends at least i i reduce it because i didn't have my own I didn't spend money. I, I was feeling bad, but I never 
say no to a friend that would ask me a cigarette. So it was my time to get back. Yeah, it was a stupid mindset and but at least I was trying to reduce it. Sometimes like I would stop for one week and then relapse and then I was keep dealing to myself. Next week I start again because whenever I had like one cigarette I would fuck everything and start smoking non-stop because yeah I fuck my streak and that's the first lesson that you need to learn. If you're trying to quit when you have when you relapse or you have a cigarette please don't fuck the rest of the day, the rest of the week, or even the rest of the month. Like today is 15 March and I already smoke, so yeah, I'm gonna try in April and I'm gonna smoke like non-stop. I would I was doing that. I was trying to stop smoking every single day and relapsing, relapsing until like one year and a half later. <laughs> Bro, I'm serious. I was trying every single day like, during one year until something magical happened <laughs> and it was really magical <laughs> i'm telling you at the end of september of 2022 i was listening to a podcast for like the first time trying to get more information about stopping smoking <laughs> and because i i tried to stop in my head yeah i'm not gonna smoke anymore but i was keep relapsing but not doing anything about it like i wasn't learning more i didn't learn like oh smoking kills you like i knew about lung cancer and all of that but you don't know specific like what it does to your body so i watched this podcast of andrew huberman i will be the first link in the description and i watch it and i listening to everything and that changed my life because i finally understood that i was not craving the smoking i was craving the nicotine and it, that's a huge difference because cigarettes just reduce your nicotine stress not your real stress let me explain i would smoke because i thought that it was reducing stress but the only thing that you reduce is the urge of craving a cigarette when you have a cigarette you are satisfying your nicotine craving but in reality you are getting more stress like your heartbeat goes up you stay like agitated and you just feel good for like five minutes and then after some minutes you need another cigarette to satisfy this nicotine craving and that's the reason why i was smoking you only smoke because you want this craving to go away and you can't stop this craving unless you stop smoking for like two weeks and these urges disappear all you need is two weeks to not feel these urges again so for the first time i learned that smoking wasn't making these things better coffee meals drinking all of that i just associated in my mind with something good but you can do the opposite if you stay away for two weeks but this is easier said than done what you need to do is replace that moment with something else and what i tried was whenever i have this craving of a cigarette like after a meal or with coffee instead of thinking of tobacco i would just go to the ground and do 10 push-ups to forget because bro i'm telling you if you do something like for example you want a cigarette now you have this crazy urge because you have a big meal and or you are stressed and you want to relax if you just think you have a you want to have a cigarette just wait five minutes i'm telling you the urge will go away you will forget it and probably 15 minutes later you will remember again but that's a victory that you miss that cigarette and just do the process again i start doing push-ups to forget I start using this five minute rule of cravings and you can do that with anything. Let's say that you have really want to have chocolate right now. You have it in your hand and you are almost eating, but you don't want to fuck your diet. So you think to yourself, OK, I'm going to eat it, but I will wait 10 minutes. If you wait 10 minutes, the urge go away and you don't want to eat it anymore. You think to yourself, bro, yeah, I'm strong. So every time you do that it's a win for yourself and you start building these small wins that will add up in a huge willpower implementing these tools listening to the podcast the day after i didn't smoke and the day after i didn't smoke and i didn't smoke for the whole months for 10 months i didn't relapse for 10 months but then something happened again i was so happy with the progress i even sent a message to the andrew uberman Thank, thanking themselves because I stopped smoking because of him 
and I was really happy. Like I thought to myself, I'm not gonna ever smoke again. This is easy peasy. Like I'm a different person now. I I changed my identity to. I'm not a smoker anymore, and that's another problem. If you are trying to stop smoking, you keep saying to yourself, "Oh, day three of not smoking. I'm not smoking for ten days. Yay!" No, you need to change your identity to "I'm not a smoker anymore." Because if you think to yourself that way, that I I have like a streak of fifteen days without smoking, you relapse again because you still have the identity of a smoker. You need to think to yourself. I'm a different person now. I'm not a smoker. You go tell your all your friends. I'm not a smoker anymore. I stop smoke. Like smoke doesn't even affect me. Instead of saying, "Oh, to your father, I, father, I stopped smoking for two weeks now. I'm so happy," and you will relapse because you didn't upgrade your identity. And what happened to me after ten months of smoking of not smoking in July 2023? I relapsed because I was fucked up. I I was drunk as fuck. That's not the excuse, but of course I wasn't in my true self, and I relapsed because, yeah, I I was drunk to that.、Uh, I was with problems in the navy, in the military, and my mental health was terrible. Was that night that I just want to really get fucked to to forget everything, and what ended up. Happening was me having one single cigarette, and that at the like at the beginning of the night, beginning like one a.m. But I went to sleep for probably at、like、six a.m. So that one cigarette, I fucked the streak, and I was like, bro, okay, I fucked the streak. Another cigarette, another cigarette, and I start smoking again. The next day, I thought to myself, ah, I I smoked yesterday. I fucked the streak. Let's just like smoke again today, but only today. But the next day, I smoked again and I smoked again until October two thousand and twenty-three. So I smoked like for three months. I get it in the habit again. I start buying cigarettes again after like two years of of not buying anything, and just thinking to myself, I quit it one time, so I can quit whatever I want. But right now, I don't want to quit. Like my mental health is not the best. I really need this relief, and basically, I was delaying for my future self of the act of not smoking, because I was keep telling to myself I can quit whatever I want. So it's cool. Let me just have a tobacco for some weeks now because I'm struggling, and that's the other mistake that you should not do. Delay the hard job today for your future self. That never works. And、I kept le- delaying, kept delaying until October first. That I thought that I the first time again that I said to myself, "No, I'm gonna quit it again." You were saying that you could quit whenever you want. Today is the day, so let's see what happens. Let's quit it. And I have it here in my habit tracker. I quit it in first day of October, and I relapsed after three days because I was still in the military and like I was addicted. Again, to smoking, and I would just tell to myself, "Bro, it's it's too hard to quit here. Like, I need to change my environment because here everyone has tobacco, so it's really difficult to me. I'm in a struggle situation, and yeah, I was keep delaying, keep delaying, and I was tracking everything. At least I was trying to reduce again because these three months I would smoke a lot, like ten, fifteen cigarettes again." And in October, I tried to reduce it again, like trying my full turkey, but not happening. So just end up reducing a little bit. And I was tracking October, November, still struggling. But until the day I moved out, I left the military, I left the navy. So that environment is gone. And the number one thing that you can do to change your behavior is change your environment. Basically, if you change your environment, you are changing your be- behavior. It's literally the easiest way. I was watching a video of Ormozi, and he was on an event speaking, and he literally said, "Like best way to change your behavior is to change your environment." Let's say that right now I turn the temperature of the room to 150 degrees. Everyone would start stripping because <laughs> I will change the environment, and automatically you change the behavior. So here it's easy to not smoke because all the cues are backed at the military. Here I don't have the temptation. 
because first I don't have tobacco and if I want to smoke I had to go to a store to buy it and that resistance already make things easier but not only that I updated my identity to I'm not a smoker anymore like I'm not struggling anymore <laughs> with <laughs> my mental health is fine so I don't need cigarettes 2024 it's almost here and I will try my best to not smoke the entire year but of course this will be hard because stopping smoking after 10 years it's a journey like it's a journey it's how many times you get up you can fall seven times but if you get up eight you're in the right path i'm not an expert of quitting smoking i'm just sharing my journey because this is a constantly battle even me doing this video right now i wasn't thinking of smoking for like three three weeks now but just by making this I was almost having a, a urge of smoking a cigarette just to see how it feels. No, no, that's not the case. That won't happen because we are crashing. 2024 will be our year and I believe in you. I know that you can stop smoking. At least try to resist, like try to reduce it at the first place. Try to eliminate the cues. Try to understand like what gives you this temptation of smoking if you need to get alcohol coffee do that but we are on this path of being better persons and improving ourselves so if you want more videos about improving yourself make sure to check my channel leave a like if you like subscribe for more and see you in the next one bye